Hey guys, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I will show you what is inside Characters 3 library. As you can see, I just downloaded Characters 3 and you can see that I have source files, PNG files, license, skin colors, which are used for the skin colors. So you can create more 3D characters, which will fit those which are in the PNG files. Then we have tutorials. In tutorials, we are going in depth how you can squeeze characters tree library but don't worry if you are new to blender you start it from very beginning so if you just downloaded the blender for the first time you can do it we started with a easy to follow short tutorials on specific topic for example how to navigate in blender or how to change the color or how to change the hair and so on and so forth so if you follow this tutorial in 30 minutes you can use you can easily use our tree library and squeeze the blender files okay so let's go to the png files as you can see we have black male female black male brown female male white female and male if i go inside you can see that we have 65 poses rendered there are two more poses in, in Blender, but they are used for adding where there is a T-pose or other pose which is used for the other purposes. If I click inside, you can see that I have the same pose of different character rendered. So you can see that I have uh, the pose rendered. So if I go for the, for example, the post 22, uh, this is how it looks like. We rendered more than 20,000 PNG files. So there are so many different combinations what you can use and see this is another pose for example. All the poses will be always on the characters.design. So if because we plan to update our tree library and there can be multiple new poses or outfits or new clothes, I'm trying to keep it up to date on our characters.design. So let's jump on the white male and let's try for example 49. As you can see, I have this pose and you can easily see that it's basically changing a uh, tree character and you can you can use that you can customize inside the blender and get your character so for example here is another pose right so i can see we have also branded clothes right so this is it again there are more than twenty thousand, so uh there are quite a lot uh, regarding the license, I just wanted to mention that we have the same license for all our tree libraries. You can use it for personal or commercial use. You can't resell uh, our source files or PNG files. It means if you just take uh, the source files, the Blender file or PNG file and just sell it on some marketplace. This is not allowed. If you have any other use case, how you want to use characters, just reach out to me at Samuel at 3D.design and uh, we can discuss the license. So let's jump to the source files. As you can see, I have female and male. Let's jump to the male. So now what you can see, I am inside the Blender. And in the Blender, like the character is fully rigged. It has a rig regarding the face. It can be a little bit more complex, but don't worry, you can just turn off some parts and make it uh, less complex. And you can use only parts which you want to use. But all of these things I will mention in, inside uh, in the tutorial. Uh, then we have uh, different eye types, like we have angry or let's jump to the pose mode. Let's show to the money, for example, so you can see, or stars, and you can change the, the eyes. Then we have a couple of expressions pre-made, but you can create your own, right? So this is happy or sad, for example, and so on and they are lip sync lip sync is used when you want to uh have a talkative tree character or you just want to make uh some bubbles or uh, cg cd gh and so on and so forth so this is how you can use it it's quite fun and then we have the generator the generator is basically helping you to customize three character so i can change the hair Right, this is how easy I'm changing the hair. I'm just using the slider. I'm not doing anything special. And this is how you can easily change uh, the character. Right, so I can change the I can change the T-shirt. Right, so uh, I can change the T-shirt or I can turn on the outfits and so many cool things. For example, VR glasses. And yeah, there are there are many traits which you can use, and you can do more than two billion combinations of a 3d character which i think it's pretty cool okay then uh you can we have the poses and all the poses as i are on the uh, characters of design right you can easily change them and now i just need to find the object which will fit here is the 37 and voila that's it 
Now what we created also is that you have a random generator of 3D characters here. So random combinations uh, which you can or you don't have to use. Uh, again, if you are new to Blender, don't worry. We created a couple of tutorials which will help you from the beginning to the end. And you can squeeze the 3D library. And I think to use a 3D and to use 3D is the, in the smart way because you don't have to know the whole Blender because there are so many cool things, but you don't need to know them because you are not building film or whatever or complex animations. You just need to know a couple of features from the Blender and then it will unlock uh, doors for you. That was it. This I want to show you the, what is inside. If you have any question, please reach out to me at samuel3d.design. If you want to learn more about characters library, go to characters.design. If you want to learn more about our other three libraries, because we have so many other three libraries, go to 3d.design. If you want to be around like-minded people, join our Discord and have a great day and stay creative. Bye.